Hey everybody, so we made it back from Utah. After over 4,000 miles of driving, Chris and I had a grueling 12 days on this trip. It actually ended up encompassing filming in four different states, plus a quick stop in Wendover, Nevada to gamble our pocket change away. Spoiler, I did not win big. We were able to collect a wide variety of minerals on this trip that aren't available to us back here in Minnesota. Being able to naturally source these minerals opens the door to a bunch of new items we can make from scratch. And most importantly, we were able to source some silver, and thanks to Cody of Cody's Lab, extract it. With that, I'll eventually be able to fill Louis Darnell's challenge to make a selfie from scratch. With that silver, I also could potentially make a mirror and even a reflective telescope, amongst other things. But speaking of telescopes, I previously talked about my lack of the necessary ingredients to make clear glass before. But thanks to this trip, I was able to collect multiple possible sources of these ingredients. With them, we shot a collaboration with Grant Thompson and Cody where we combine our collective knowledge to make one last grand attempt at hopefully finally making clear glass. The video collaboration should be coming out in the next week or so, so be on the lookout for that. This trip was an amazing experience, and I got to see the wide variety of landscape Western America can provide. So intense with our schedule though, the live Q&A and travel vlog I promised before the trip never ended up being possible. In fact, I spent most of our driving time editing the year old sandwich video that ended up coming out a week later than I had planned. Getting to meet both Grant and Cody was also a fascinating experience, as it's the first time I've been able to meet other major YouTubers in person and get a peek at their own production styles. In the process, I visited both of them at their own houses and noticed a common trait between all of us, that our living spaces are crowded with a bunch of past, present, and upcoming projects everywhere. Of course, unlike them, I live in an apartment, so I have even more limited space packed with projects. An interesting thing is that both of them mentioned having attempted to do the entirely from scratch method that I attempt to some degree in the past, but both eventually moved away from it for their own reasons, mostly because of its difficulty or impracticality, which is some cause of concern to me. The format of this channel and the level of quality that I don't want to compromise are things that are obviously not always ideally suited for the YouTube medium, especially with the direction YouTube has been taking lately. If you're able to run a channel with just one or two people filming it in your house with a quick turnaround and low production quality, you can potentially make a lot of money off of YouTube. But once you start adding a small crew, a higher concept involving research and experts and equipment, and not to mention occasional travel, YouTube becomes a difficult medium to survive on and seems to be only getting worse and worse. I pursue this project as primarily a passion project because I truly want to learn about everything I cover as every project greatly expands my understanding of the world and I hope by sharing that with my audience, I can likewise expand theirs. However, this series is extremely time consuming with basically no financial gain to me. When money comes into the project, I try to reinvest it to elevate our content, raise it to the next level. This trip to Utah was a bit of a stretch and puts us tight on money. I'm hoping everyone will enjoy the multiple upcoming series this trip allows for us. And if you are, I hope you consider supporting us on Patreon. Where things are now, YouTube might not end up being the best fit for us and we may be forced to pivot next year to a different medium but I'm hoping we'll be able to reach a sustainable level of support through voluntary subscriptions with Patreon. That we can keep producing this content at this level of quality while still being available for free. Thanks again for watching. We have a few videos left in our preservative series that got delayed because of all the travel, and then we'll be moving on to some new topics. Hope you enjoy them, and thanks again for your support.